Hello, my name's Richard and welcome to ProGreen TV. Today I'm going to talk about adjuvants, specifically water conditioners, which are essential in hard water areas to maintain the potency and efficiency of your spray. We'll also discuss crop oils and anti-foaming agents. So, what are adjuvants? Put simply, they're a substance that is added to a pesticide spray to improve either its results or its characteristics. The choice of adjuvant can be bewildering, so we're covering just the three groups here today, but please see our YouTube site for more videos on adjuvants and also other products. The use of adjuvants in pesticides outside of farming circles isn't widely known, but they've got major cost benefits to the end user through reduced pesticide use, more dependable weed control and quicker results. So, onto water conditioners and buffers. The type of water that you use to dilute a pesticide with is of critical importance. It is rarely on anyone's mind when they're preparing a spray job. If the water that you're using to dilute is too alkaline, i.e. the pH is too high, above 7, then a percentage of the active ingredient of the pesticide will be lost and results will be correspondingly lower. It may be necessary to try and alter the pH by using an acidifier or to lock up the alkalinity or remove it by using a buffer. The more alkaline the water, the more adjuvant you will need to use. We have a tack in 5 litres, but also a handy sized pouch called K+. Just enough for a 20 litre knapsack. It's an ideal size to carry around on site and add to your glyphosate mix as a matter of course. Summary of water conditioners and buffers. High pH locks up the active ingredient, wasting valuable pesticide. It gives greater flexibility, i.e. the same results wherever you are, whatever the conditions. Conditioners reduce pH. Buffers maintain a stable pH. Ammonium sulphate is a common water conditioner ingredient. K Plus is a handy travel size pouch ready for use when needed. So, on to anti foaming. Sometimes, when you're filling a large knapsack or a quad bike sprayer, the pesticide and water can froth and foam up so much it loses you a lot of time. Many other adjuvants combine this technology already, so products such as Solar Plus or Warrior can be used. We also have a dedicated anti-foam adjuvant called Foam Free. And so on to crop oils. There are some adjuvants based on petroleum mineral oils, commonly called crop oils, which have brilliant penetrant capabilities on waxy leaf surfaces and are also useful in insecticides for defeating tough exoskeletons. When combined with non-ionics, they've got penetrant and spreading capabilities but should not be used with hormone acting herbicides such as 2,4-D and MCPA. So, in conclusion, the case for adjuvants can be made on a number of different grounds. For economical reasons, because the operator is using less pesticide than before but still controlling the same amount of weeds or may even increase the spectrum of weeds being controlled. Increased rain fastness and reduced evaporation means there's less chance the operator will have to return to site to repeat treatments after poor results. And also there's a benefit to the environment, with less pesticide being used and drift being controlled. So the choice of adjuvant is key and hopefully this has given you a better idea of what to look for. But as always, start by reading the label of the pesticide you wish to use. Many will list suitable partner adjuvants. Some can be quite precise in their recommendations and you risk making a pesticide less effective if you get the choice wrong. As always, please check our website or phone for free technical help if you are unsure. To see our range of adjuvants and other products, visit www.progreen.co.uk or phone our free phone 0800 032 6262. Thanks.